Quick disclaimer here, you are not going to go to a YCS or a regional and top with this deck. This deck is strictly a troll deck. It's strictly for fun. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I have something, uh, I don't even say exciting for you, but it's something really, really funny and that is you'll send you Comet 2 Control with Mystic Mind. I'll get into that when we start the deck profile. However, I will say the reason I'm doing this deck is because I recently got a comment saying, oh, what about you'll send you Mystic Mind Control? And I was like, wow, this person must be an OG viewer. Cause well, that was one of like the OG strats for Yo Senju that I thought of when Mystic Mind came out. So I guess here it is again, updated for 2022. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, these deck profiles in general, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. This week is gonna be five days of five deck profiles. Yesterday's video, today's video, three more videos after this. Five days, five deck profiles. I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Appreciate every single one of you. And with that, let's get into the video. Okay, so just before we get started with today's video, I do want to say a big disclaimer. I may have already said it in the intro, but I'm going to say it again. And that is do not expect to take this deck to a regionals and or a YCS and think you're going to win that event. Okay, this is a very much for fun deck. It's a very much meme deck. This deck is one of those decks that is absolutely troll. So if you go into your friend's house and want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh, you want to go to a locals and want to troll your opponents, this is the way to to go let's get right into the deck profile so now we are starting off with your Sendru comet 2 this is the win condition of the deck essentially and how you send comet 2 works unlike the other your if you guys don't know comet 2 can attack your opponent directly even if your opponent has monsters on the board however it does half the battle damage right so here it has 1800 attack so you're going to be doing 900 poke at a minimum with your Sendru comet 2 just attacking your opponent directly so you're going to be like hey spanko okay but how does that win condition go through well as you guys can see there is a plethora and I mean plethora of sun cards to make it so that your opponent cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh! And as soon as they're stuck in a state where they really can't win, then you're going to use that to your advantage and summon the comma 2 and try to win slowly just by poking your opponent. So for that reason, of course, we are playing triple Yosenju comma 2 as well as one Yosenju Sujik. Yosenju Sujik is just the one up in the deck. You don't want to play too many monsters in this deck. However, Yosenju Sujik is really, really good because it has a couple effects that are really, really relevant. So if for some reason you don't have Mystic Mind up on the board or your opponent has more than two monsters you can summon your comma 2 activate its effect to summon your sujik sujik has an effect that'll boost your comma 2's attack so it's going to make your comma 2800 so you're going to be doing 1400 every single time you attack with it so that's only that situation where it comes up there's also another situation where if your opponent has two monsters on the side of the field and you have a comma 2 in your hand and you're like okay well i can't afford to summon the sujik here you can actually discard the sujik and still boost the comma 2's attack by a thousand and this is a really nice thing about the deck is that you're really just doing a lot of poke damage and you're trying to push as much as you can whenever you can so this is going to just keep boosting your comma 2 for you and that's where it comes up then you're playing the cards essentially that make your opponent not be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's three mystic mind and you're playing one terraforming three i'm sorry i can't help but laugh this deck is just so mean man three demise of the land as well as metaverse so as you guys can see we have a lot of ways here to get to mystic mind as fast as possible because once you set up mystic mind and if this doesn't get negated and this sticks on the board then you're pretty much winning the game because at that point your opponent is going to be stuck with cards on their side of the field that they can't do anything with and you're going to be poking them down especially if they don't have any back row removal in the main deck then yeah then they're kind of stuck so mystic mind is very important to resolve in this deck and keep in mind you still want to go first in this deck i will say this you still want to go first with this deck you don't want to go second you still want to go first because as you guys can see playing a lot of trap cards demise of the land is essentially a trap card for you because you can set it and then activate mystic mind on your opponent's turn so demise of the land is really really good as well as metaverse so yeah you still want to go first with this deck then we're playing a lot of draw power because we want to see as many traps and as many floodgate cards as we can so we're playing three pot of extravagance of course two bought a duality you're not special summoning at all in this deck so two duality as well as one card to demise now i'm gonna give you guys a quick ruling for anyone who's never played yosenju before at the end phase there's effects that resolve right so for example the commas twos coming back to your hand happens in the end phase so it resolves at that time card of demise also resolves in the end phase right so when cards resolve in the end phase you can actually choose the order that they resolve in so what you can do is you can make sure card of demise resolves first and then comma two can resolve and then when comma two comes back to your hand you won't actually have to send it to the graveyard with card of demise so keep that in mind if you guys are new to the deck you don't actually end up having to send your comma two once you add it back to your hand because you're going to resolve the card of demise first in the end phase then you can resolve the your central comma two then of course two tanky because tanky is going to search your comma two it also searches your sujik if you need it so two tanky also it makes your comma two 1900 so it's just more damage on top of that right so it's really just as much poke as you can possibly get with this deck and then one call by the grave this card is just nuts this format you have to play it and then you're playing just a bunch of cards that stop your opponent from playing so you're playing two chalice to stop monster effects essentially if mystic mind wasn't enough. Charles is really important.
on it. Three Imperm here, three Rivalry of the Warlords, three goes in match, and three there can be only one. Yes, I know. It's literally just Floodgate dot deck. Rivalry goes in, there can be only one. Mystic Mind, good luck playing. That's what the deck really is. It's really just trolling your opponent and just being as annoying as you possibly can. That's what this deck is. And I mean, it works. It works. Sometimes it works. So uh, yeah, I think this is a really, really good lineup of the Floodgates. I don't think you want to change. These are really the best Floodgates you guys can play. You don't want to play cards like Crackdown or whatnot because that puts monsters on your side of the field, which you don't want, of course. So yeah, these are the best ones. And then for more memory, if that wasn't enough, you're playing one Macrocosmo and one Dimensional Fissure. Essentially nothing gets sent to the graveyard, which is very important in today's format. If your opponent can't put stuff in the graveyard for them, they're going to have a hard time playing. So Fissure and Cosmos can come up. They're of course only just one of, but when they do come up they're insanely powerful and then lastly here of course you have to play another card that's just annoying and that's d shifter d shifter is just so important in today's format like when you resolve this your opponent's really not going to be able to play the game and then on top of that this is going to buy you a turn keep in mind that this deck doesn't win games very fast so it's not one of those decks where it's like okay let me stun my opponent then beat him no this deck really takes like four to five turns to really start beating your opponent and winning the game. So even more, to be honest with you sometimes. So that's why you really need to play cards that really stun your opponent for as long as possible. D Shifter being one of them, your Floodgates also being there, your Mystic Mind being there, your Imperm, your Chalice. It's very important to play all these cards because this is essentially how you make it so that your opponent just doesn't play Yu-Gi-Oh at all. So that's it for the main deck. It's 40 cards exactly, very, very consistent. We have a ton of draw power. We have Surge power in the deck. We just have a ton of Floodgates. This deck is very, very consistent on its own. And then for the extra deck, it does not matter. You really do not care about the extra deck at all you're never going to be making it especially with all these floodgates you're never really going to be going into your extra deck however you kind of need one especially for extrav so we're playing three cowboy if there's ever a situation where you don't have mystic mind or you randomly don't have rivalry or there can be if you don't if you randomly don't have these cards on your side of the field but your opponent's like really low on life points you can make cowboy i guess never really going to come up i'm telling you right now the, the, the extra deck is never actually going to come up but uh yeah just in case it does you're playing three cowboy three utopia lightning as well as three utopia of course if you need to out a big monster i guess this is a combo for you then you have two lightning chidori two tornado dragon for back row matchups this is actually kind of important into back row matchups funny enough like I, I know this deck is just a meme deck but into back row matchups this is actually really important because mystic mind is actually not that powerful into a lot of them so yeah you definitely want to be playing tornado dragon and then two zeus of course because your entire extra deck is Ixies monsters so you can play two zeus and yeah this is kind of one of those things where the extra deck doesn't really matter the what matters really is here is the main deck and again the, the explanation for the main deck is mystic mind floodgates and then essentially your opponent is going to have no ability to play Yu-Gi-Oh, and then once they have a couple monsters on the side of the board you can just summon a comma two you're always supposed to have less monsters than your opponent in this case so you're always going to have comma two to just attack your opponent directly and then you're going to be doing some chip damage every single turn until you essentially win the game so yeah i just wanted to say this deck is very very like meme that's what it is. This deck is very meme. It's very mystic meme, if that's what we're going to call it. It's comma two control at the end of the day. But again, I just do want to say that this deck, do not expect it to win you a regional or even a locals or a YCS. It's very, very meme. One of the first videos I did on the channel very early on when I started this channel was comma two control. It really brought back some memories and I'm like, oh, I have to do this deck again. So here it is, mystic meme, comma two control. And yeah, 40 cards on the dot, very consistent. Extra deck doesn't matter. You guys can really put in whatever you want. And uh, yeah, floodgate wise, I think this is the best floodgate lineup. I just want to say this before we end off. This is, I think, the best floodgate lineup. Uh, you guys can play other floodgates if you want. But the nice thing about these ones is one, they're really budget and affordable. Like this entire deck is really budget and affordable, right? You forget the extra deck. Even the extra deck is affordable. I mean, I guess Zeus is like $10 each if you want to buy the lower ID copies. But still, like this deck is very, very affordable, especially with the extra reprints as commons, these reprints reprints as supers, these reprints as commons. This deck is very, very affordable, very, very fun to play. Well, fun for you, not fun for your opponent. And if you just want to troll your friends or just troll your locals, then this is the way to go. So that is it for today's video. Oh my God, I have to say it again. I know I've already said it, but I have to say it again. Do not take this deck to a regional or a YCS and come back to the channel and say, Spinko, this deck sucks. You can't win with this deck. I know, it's a troll deck, it's a for fun deck. All my memers out there is gonna understand why this deck does what it does. This deck's just fun, like that's that's really just what it is. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because again, like I said, the rest of the week is gonna be all deck profiles. You guys can stay tuned for all of that good stuff. Appreciate every single one of you. And with that guys, Spanko, signing out. Peace.